Lead core is a braided nylon line that has a lead in the center of it. It's commonly available in 18, 27, and 36 pound test. The line test does not seem to affect the sinking rate. The line changes color in 10 yard increments, making it 100 yards long. Although the sinking rate is dependent on trolling speed and the size or weight of your lure, a rule of thumb is that your bait will get down four feet for every color let out. Basically, you want a reel that will hold a minimum of 200 yards of 20 pound for 12 pound lead core to be put on. And just increase the numbers for a heavier pound test lead core. For a rod, you want something that has some backbone, probably in the eight to nine foot range. Some people use shorter, others longer. But you should start out in the middle and see what you prefer. To start rigging your lead core, you will need to first put on your backing. Braided line seems to hold up well. Most importantly is that it is a small diameter which allows for more backing to be put on the reel. Or to make it easier on yourself, buy a 300 foot roll of ready core. Each spool comes with pre-tied Dacron backing, lead core line, and leader all of which are ready to be spooled. Lead core, of course, is very visible in the water. The solution is to add a fluorocarbon leader. The clearer the water, the longer the leader. We recommend at least two rod lengths long. Here are just a few of the lures that we use when fishing with downriggers. Forty feet a mono out, and let me show you the uh, attachment from the mono to the lead core. I just use an improved clinch knot to uh, attach the two ends to the swivel. Okay, I'm going to tie a loop knot, which is what I like to use on my downriggers and my lead core. First thing you do is just stick an overhand knot in the line. You'll have your tag line. Take it, put it through your bait, and pull that overhand knot right up to the bait. So the one end of it's snugged up against it. Put no oh, five twists on it, six twists. Just around it like that. And you stick that back through the overhand knot. As always, wet it. Pull it tight, you have a loop. You know, it just lets your bait swim free and gives it a little bit better action. When you're putting your trailer on, pull the hair of the jig out of the way, get it right there in the middle the best you can. You want it to go down the middle of the bait. Come out in the middle as best you can so it tracks straight. And there you go. We're ready to fish. It's going to be going from the gray to the light blue. There you go. Goes from gray to blue. And that's what's known as the color. Again, I'm a lazy man, so I don't count colors. I use my line counter to tell me how far it out. 30 foot for each color. You multiply by three your colors. If not, then you better keep track of your colors. <laughs> Let it go out a little bit quicker. So I usually go between four and five when I'm deploying. And your trolling speed? My trolling speed is right around three miles an hour. Close to right to hit three miles. Now sometimes if you see fish on the grass and you know your baits are shallower than the, the fish are, you can just take the boat out of gear. 
and let the bait sink. And you see the graph right there? Those fish are hanging out about 40 feet. And we're only fishing about 25 so we can stay out of the timber. So I knocked the boat out of gear for a little while and let those baits sink. Something you kind of got to get used to, no longer how long to leave it out of gear. But you just leave it out of gear and then you can put it back in and sometimes it'll sink down and go right to the fish. Yeah, and it's always important to check your drag every time you deploy with any type of fishing, whether it's your down rod, lead core, down riggers, always check your drags. Fish on. <laughs> One of the things bad about the lead core, the line's out there 150, 200 feet. You gotta let them reel in the dip. That's to bring a friend to make them reel them in. Yeah, not a big fish. But most everybody would be happy having catching a nice Lake Lanier striker like that. He's probably about four pounds. Fish in those first, kind of torpedo them, give them a head start getting through the hot surface temperature, the hot layer. Maybe two pounds bigger. Probably a six. To a seven. He was hooked really good right there in the lip. He wasn't going nowhere. Like my ears. Torpedo! Oh,